Aunt Carol's fervent remarks capture a growing frustration among certain Catholics who feel their religious freedoms, professional opportunities, and deeply held values are under fire. She draws a stark parallel between the legal troubles of public figures like Steve Bannon and Peter Navarro and the potential fate of Catholics and pro-life advocates if political trends continue to erode free speech and religious rights. Carroll argues passionately that voters must elect candidates who will protect not only freedom of speech, but broader liberties, especially religious freedom and the Second Amendment. Listen. Okay, I'm here with, I'm here with Aunt Carol. Right. <laughs> we're, we're at this Catholic, Catholic dinner. What did you What did you have to say? You were, we were just talking about Steve Bannon, oh, and you priest. also wanted to talk about the church. Yes, and what's happening? Jailing Catholics, jailing pro-lifers. Yes, definitely. And um, I'm very upset with the fact that Steve was is still in prison, and what they did to Peter Navarro also. But I think it's incumbent upon every Catholic to really search their soul this time. It's really important that we elect someone that's going to protect free speech, because if we don't have free speech, we and the freedom of religion and the freedom of religion and our Second all Amendment, Amendment, all all of that is so important. And please, Catholics, it's not just if you like or want abortion. It's 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 much more than that. We have children and grandchildren and great nieces and great nephews that are going to inherit this land that are our, our fathers and grandfathers fought for and some died for so please just think real hard before just because you don't like the man or you don't like his tweets it's it's much bigger than you or me it's the whole country that's right we're pro life pro family absolutely appreciate your time many hold the view that the liberal left is working to marginalize and suppress traditional christian values in public life the legal pressures on Bannon and Navarro are seen as emblematic of a wider effort to silence dissent from the dominant progressive narrative. For Catholics, who oppose abortion and uphold life-centered policies, there's a growing sense that government actions are increasingly out of step with their moral and religious principles. Carol's key message, that political choices should transcend personal animosity toward figures like Donald Trump, finds strong resonance in conservative circles. She urges voters to look beyond the noise of personality clashes and social media spats, focusing instead on the policies that will secure religious freedom and preserve family values. Her plea suggests that the battle for America's future hinges on defending core freedoms that go far beyond the personalities of individual politicians. As the November 5th election approaches, Catholics are encouraged to consider these broader stakes, voting to protect their faith, values, and constitutional rights from what they see as growing government overreach and cultural decay. The movement to safeguard religious liberty, pro-life values, and constitutional rights is part of a larger trend shaping the political landscape.